Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Jacked. Left it here ten years ago. <sighs> play it back. Mm hmm. What are you taking? Well, you said it was gonna be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. <laughs> we should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? Good. That should do it. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Oh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren! What's the point? He wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. I'd understand, but you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well, uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jacked had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jacked, he. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures, to show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira, and Braska's resolve. It happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. Wait. Yeah? Jack loved you. 
Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. This, they always leave me behind. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There, good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? I think so too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. Yuna's really quiet. Seriously? A wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come on, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I say what I want, ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? You know it. Anything can happen. Make sure you're prepared. Right? Temple not far. Why stop here? Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, you're right. I'll try and remember. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting you. We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> Lord Seymour sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady? I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Uh, goodbye. Well, we must follow grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. I'll send someone to escort you. I... We're all with you. Do as you will. Thank you. Sorry. Hmm? That was your line. Yuna! <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, no! Alfred! 